Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to open ports in a Windows operating system, how to check if the necessary port is open, check the status of all ports, and find out which port is used by a specific program. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you are an avid online gamer, an active user of file sharing services and torrents, or you want to create your own game server, you probably know that you'll have to open some extra ports for your needs. It can be done on your router and in the firewall settings of your operating system. Before you start opening ports, it's worth checking which are already open. There are special apps to help you, but you can always do it with the standard built-in utilities as well. Launch the command prompt as administrator and type the following command. This command tells the computer to display the information on the status of network connections and ports. A. All connections and waiting ports. O. Showing the process ID. N. The port number and address in a numerical expression. And if you want the information displayed page by page, add the word more at the end. After you enter this command, the result will be shown on the screen as a table. Now let's talk about identification names in detail. Listening – the port is listening for incoming connections. Established – the port has an established point-to-point -point connection. Time wait – the port is waiting after close to handle packets still in the network. And close wait – the connection is waiting for the port to close. To find out which port is used by a specific program, add the letter B to this command. This is how you tell the computer to show the process name. And as a result, you will also see the name of the program using this port. There are also online services to check open ports, for example, 2IP or port scan, and the links are below this video. Just choose Checking the port, enter the port number and click Check. You will see the result below – port is open or port is closed. Now let's talk about opening a port if it's closed, and you can open it with a Windows firewall. However, you should always remember that the more openings you have in your firewall, the more vulnerable your computer is. To open a specific port in a Windows operating system, open Control Panel, Windows Firewall, and click on Advanced Settings. It will open Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. You can also open it with the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and typing firewall.cpl. Now select Inbound Rules and then New Rule. Check the port option here. Specify the port to open, allow the connection, don't change anything here, give the rule a name and click Finish. In the same way, create a rule for UDP protocol and these two rules for outbound connections. That's all, the port is open. If you need to close the port again, just choose it from the list and click Delete. Another way to open ports in Windows is with the command prompt. To do it, start the command prompt as administrator and type the following command. This command will create a rule L2TP-TCP and open TCP protocol port 7001 in inbound connections. In the same way, type a similar command to add a rule for the name for the same port but with UDP protocol. You will see an OK message here if the commands are completed successfully. Don't forget that to enable the work of PPTP protocol, you should open the port not only for the managing session 1723TCP but also allow work for the GRE protocol. That's why you need to type the following command. If you need to open ports for a specific application, you'll have to create a rule in advanced settings of the Windows firewall and this time you choose the option Program instead of Port. 
See more in another video, the link is in the description. If the port is still closed after all the actions, it means the port is closed in the router. You can watch another video on our channel to see how to forward a port on a router, and the link is below as usual. To open a port in antivirus settings, you should find the exclusion section and add the required program to the whitelist. Here is one more way to open a certain port with the help of a torrent program. To begin with, go to Options, Preferences, and choose Connection. In the line Port used for incoming connections, type the port you need and click Apply. Now let's go to the website to check this port. You, can't, you can see it's open, but if you exit the application, the port becomes closed again. Among the multitude of ports, there are those used by popular applications by default. For example, ports 80 and 443 are used by browsers. Port 80 is for ordinary encryption and port 443 for protected encrypted connections. And if you close these ports, there may be difficulties with connecting to gaming, cloud and other services. Yet if they are closed and everything works without any problems, don't hurry to open them. Below this video, you will find the list of most frequently used ports and their description. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.